My name is Michael Hiskey. I'm delighted to be back at the BBBT again for my fourth or fifth iteration. Today for Samarki, where I'm the chief marketing officer. Samarki is making data man master data management exciting again uh, by taking an agile approach that puts business in front of IT in many respects and focuses on things that are often being left behind by the MDM mega vendors, things like fast time to value, ROI, uh, straightforward collaboration, and model flexibility. So I'm going to hand over to our CEO and founder, Salah Kamel. The company was created in France in 2011. The first year was really a development year in 2011, and we released V1. Exactly, we released V1 in 2012, and we were profitable at uh, the end of fiscal year 2012. And the vision that we have is about creating a set of nimble products in a concept that we call evolutionary MDM, where we really want to have people get engaged as quickly as possible in an MDM journey. Our understanding of the market is that over, over the years, some of the functions have been moving or shifting from the ground to the sky, in other words, from on-premises to the cloud. And all of a sudden, IT departments have figured out that they were losing control and therefore they started introducing tools for managing master data from an IT standpoint. They did implement traditional MDM on-premises, and this traditional MDM was mainly to enforce a quote-unquote dictatorial data governance. Now the thing is that the business guys are smart, and they keep on pushing more and more functions to the cloud because the business is evolving. And we've, we started to see some, some vendors, including us, introduce something called Agile MDM. And the agility itself is about an MDM that can connect the users and still have some kind of a control and some kind of a collab collaboration on the functions that are running in the cloud uh, and have them tied to some of the functions that are still running on premises. We feel like there is a shift right now in the market where MDM needs to be able to adapt and evolve, to be able to cope with what we call responsible governance and have business users engage more and more, not only in the definition, but also in the operations of this MDM scenario. So what we want to do is create the excitement about MDM Again, that MDM is not only about uh, data integration, data quality, match merge, dictatorial data governance, etc., etc. All the terms and buzzwords that we know because we're practitioners and we've been working with, with this over the past years. We think and we believe that MDM is about identifying and delivering value as quickly as possible. It's more important to align actions and people and it's more important to collaborate and understand what's inside your data to be able to drive your enterprise into this value than to focus on technology. The technology is done and what we've come out with is this thing called evolutionary MDM and it's really about both sides of the world. So what MDM is about, or evolutionary MDM, it's about value, value-driven approach. We think that we have a fast time to value. We think that we can measure the ROI of all the implementations that we've made. Uh, we think that MDM should be business empowered. And to be able to do this, platforms and the technology and the people have to get themselves into an agile approach to MDM. And the agility is about not boiling the ocean, do it one step at a time, make sure to control your risk and make sure that whatever feature, whatever model, whatever piece of information that you put in the MDM, whatever process you tie in, in, in your MDM, is gonna be a process that is changeable, that you can evolve quickly. And with this in place, you can start building trust. You can start building trust in your data, you can start building trust in your people, and you can start building trust in your processes. 80% of our customers were in production within the first 12 weeks. Our secret sauce is about saying, stop looking at the technology and focus on the value. So the value we've, we've put it into three buckets, uh, cost optimization, risk mitigation, and increasing revenues. Most of the vendors would tell you, if you put the data, you have the value. And again, we strongly disagree with that. Data does not translate into value. To be able to have data translated into value, you need to align your actions. You need to have processes. You need to understand what is it that you're doing MDM for. It's, it's a hard sell, right? You know that, it's a hard sell. How do we engage our customers? We have a package that we call a proof of value. This proof of value package is to tell customers, you know what, we, we trust our technology so much that within two weeks, we can get an MDM solution designed for you. 95% of our customers that have done a proof of value with us ended up 
not only buying our products, because they're, they're not bound to buying our product, which is a good thing, it's a side effect, but also they have been successful in their first iteration.